Assassin's Creed Origins, the game that changed the series forever, creating the Assassin's Creed that we know and mm, partially love. But I'm, they're gonna get a. I, I'm just reach knock knock. Who's there? Let's see what happens with Mirage, eh? Now join me as I get the platinum trophy on this glorious game as we go back to Egypt and find out the origins of the assassins. Starting with your friendly neighborhood Magi, Bayek. Will sniff the air that day in Come. What? We start off with Bayek taking out one of his targets of the order that had something to do with his son's death. And after a successful start to his revenge, he's found by his best friend, Hep Zephyr, as they get reacquainted and head home. You kidding me right now? We get a camel ride back to Siwa, and this is where our journey begins. Hey, what's that? Elementary, my dear Bayek. Solve a papyrus mystery. First trophy. The old kingdom. Ooh, Raider of the Lost Tomb trophy. Complete a tomb. First tomb. We swiftly move on to our first main target. Somebody who had something to do with Kemu's death. Kemu being Bayek's son. What is one boy? What is one boy? Papa? Roll it back to a year ago and we discover why Bayek is on this mission for vengeance. Bayek and his son are abducted by some crazy masked men and taken below Siwa to a vault because they think Bayek can open it, but he has no clue. And with Kemu's help, Bayek manages to escape, but the unthinkable happens and he loses his own son. And with the opening for the game complete, we can crack on with the trophies. No, I don't care. I'm too strong for you. And break this shit. Oh. Boom! The festival. Complete side quest, Lady of Slaughter. After that side quest, Bayek meets up with his wife, Aya, who you can also play as in the game. And once they're done catching up and Bayek showing her a piece of Eden, we're running away from hippos. Oh my god. There we go. Run for your life. Run away from free fights with a hippo. <laughs> Next, we're competing in hippodrome tournaments, and we've got to smash a cart and win races to get some trophies. <laughs> Road rage. <laughs> oh my days. Destroy an opponent in the hippodrome. Boom. Ben Hur. Win the first Hippodrome tournament. Yeah! Smashed that one, to be fair. I'm very sorry, madam. I'm very sorry. It's for a noble cause. Eat your snack. Go on. There we go. Circle of life. Feed a predator, but of course. Sorry about that, civilian. I have the bastard! Pyong! <laughs> Archer of the month! Headshot an enemy with a ooh with a bow while in midair. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> the arrow whisperer. Kill an enemy with a predator bow from more than sixty meters while controlling the arrow. Now, after that bunch of trophies, we're getting on with the story again, as we meet up with Aya and go on to meet Cleopatra, and then we get another trophy for doing that. We get introduced to Cleopatra and offer to help her take out the people threatening her throne. And we kill one of the targets and get ourselves a lovely trophy. Like dust. Now we're in a segment with Aya where we get to take control of a huge ship. They're trying to take the best parts from Black Flag, but it's not done so well. But we get a trophy. I'm pretty sure I actually get a trophy for doing this. I'm done learning. Activate a master ability. Boom. Ooh, you still need 8,880. To reach 9,000. Reach level 20. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, smash. 
100 breakable objects. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Slasher. <laughs> Kill three enemies with one hit. Take that, hyenas. And then we take out the order member called the hyena. Hey, there it is, the hyena. After a few more trophies, we're knocked out and tripping balls in our mind as we face off against a godlike snake. But this gets us yet another trophy. We take out yet another target for Cleopatra and net ourselves a trophy for that. And we keep plowing forward for more trophies. If I tame this big boy, go to sleep. Oh, look at that. Big boy. Tame you. Raw, beautiful. Tame a lion. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh. I put him to sleep. <laughs> yes, I can. Oh my god, wrecked. And. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Confirm kill. See ya. Defy authority. Oh, a legendary as well. Defeat a Falakis. Come on. Oh, ah! Get off. Nearly there. Come on, I've got someone for you to meet. This way. Yeah, set update. I'm bringing a tame lion to a crocodile. I, I kind of did it. <laughs> okay, I'll keep him alive. Wow, this guy. What an idiot. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Upgrade this again. Ooh, yes! Handyman! Craft 20 items. Look <laughs> how many I just killed. Oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, wait, what? Triathlete? Swim, ah, oh, swim, ride, and run for certain distances. Awesome. Bye, XA Cheese. Reporter. Take a photo in five different territories. Fire. And... <laughs> Boom! Kill 30 enemies by shooting a fire arrow at oil jars. Now Bayek is looking for a member of the order known as the Crocodile. And we've got to fight our way through the arena, getting all waves of enemies and then the bosses at the end. We can also come back to the arena later on for another trophy where we've got to complete every arena event. And finish. Ooh. Fatality. Finish an arena boss with whatever power. <laughs> nice. Uh, loot. Oh, yes. Master Diver. 15 underwater locations completed. Oh, I was nowhere near that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, trophy. Rider's license. Use all types of vehicle at least once. Ah, I thought I had to buy the chariot skill. But these boys get me the trophy. Bayek finally catches up to the crocodile, the woman running the arena. And for assassinating her, of course, we get ourselves another trophy. Wait, what? <laughs> the crocodile. Oh my god, leave me alone, please. Back to Aya again now, as we are sneaking Cleopatra inside a rug towards Julius Caesar, so that she can gain an audience with him. There's a huge story segment coming now where you cannot go back into the open world. We've got a civil war in Egypt. We're fighting alongside Julius Caesar. And while we're in the middle of the battlefield, we end up taking down the order member known as the Scorpion. Bayek is about to kill Septimius, the member who had a lot to do with his son's death. But Julius Caesar betrays us and stops Bayek from killing him. They killed my son! We finish this segment with Cleopatra and Caesar as allies and joining the Order. The Order has now pillaged Siwa and killed Hebzephyr, Bayek's best friend, because they've been trying to get into the vault. But before Bayek enacts his revenge, let's get a few more trophies. And... <laughs> Where's my black flag? Defeat eight ship captains. Hey, namaste. I held the touchpad 30 times. Very difficult. <laughs> and now we kill the leader of the order, Flavius. 
the one responsible for Kemu's death. Thus, Bayek is successful in avenging Kemu. Alright, I've got enough trinkets to sell for my trophy. Boom! Reduce, reuse, recycle. So 100 trinkets at once. And after a huge delay or just an enemy in the background slowly burning, I got a really weird trophy. Ooh, over designed. <laughs> that popped randomly. Or kill a poisoned level 35 plus enemy with a torch in less than 30 seconds. Such a dumb trophy. <laughs> As Aya, we assassinated Julius Caesar, which many people were clearly very happy about. And Bayek forms the earliest version of the Assassin's Brotherhood that we all know. And this leads us to the end of the main story, bringing us a lovely gold trophy. Now, of course, it's time for our cleanup. Ooh, I can see my house from here. Reach the top of the world in the Black Desert. I hope I don't have to upgrade everything as well. Let's see. Boom! It does count. Thank God for that. I'm a legend. Be equipped with only legendary. I didn't have to upgrade all this to legendary. Phew! Yeah, <laughs> see ya. Now we're at the main arena of the game, and we can pick up another trophy here for completing all arena events. Trophy! 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 Yeah! For those about to die, complete all arena events in the Crocodolopolis arena. <laughs> Fill in the water. Nice. Ooh, words of wisdom. Complete all hermit locations. Wonderful. Next, we're doing a side quest that gives us a bronze trophy, and we're defending this village from oncoming onslaughts of enemies. Boom. Boom. See you, little mice. Think you can hide from us? Where's the woman? Hand over the bow. Maybe we'll let you win. Or maybe not. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> you are dead. No, I'm not. I'm very alive. You are dead. Now we're taking down some of the elephant bosses on the map to get ourselves another trophy. In the butt. In the butt. In the butt. <laughs> the harder they fall. That still only counts as one. Now Bayek gets into a little bit of astrology and it's time to gaze at the stars and get ourselves a silver trophy from it. Oh, wait, that is all of them. Complete all 12 stone circles. Finally, we explored the rest of the map for another trophy. Oh yeah, I know my land. That should be for defogging the whole map. Yeah. Next, it was time to grind out all the locations in the game. You have to do literally every single one, but that's the last grind of the game, and we get ourselves the lovely trophy. You know these guys. Grab that. Boom. Old habits. Complete all locations. Hell yeah. Bye bye. Now we have our final trophy before the platinum, and that is for watching bugs rain in the desert. When it's really hot and the sun is very high, Bayek hallucinates and you can see all sorts of random things, but the bugs are the rarest and you need this for a trophy. Oh, oh. <gasps> yes, yes, it's happening. It's raining bugs. Come on, give me the trophy. Yay, I never thought I'd be so happy to see it rain bugs. This would be horrifying in real life. Hot. Oh, thank God for that. Overheating. Mint this rainy bugs in the desert and earn them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this one. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and check out some more videos right here.